Hello everyone, welcome to Philips Tecon DDS CAD and Happy New Year. In the past months, I've been working in a playlist called DDS CAD 15 Getting Started. This playlist is recommended to all of you, whether you have a DDS CAD license for many years or you just want to know more about DDS CAD. The videos are direct, simple and easy to follow up. In this video though, I will show you some hints and tips on how to master a DDS CAD product database. Enjoy! The first tip is how you can list all the products of same product database to easily find them. First, I will open the product database. As you can see by default we have filters on the left. So what we will do, I will activate this flat mode so I can deactivate the filters and then I click on a checkbox show only user products. So now I have a list of the same products I have in my model. Nice. Second tip. Did you know that DDS CAD comes with some extra product databases? To access them, we come to menu tools and then extra product databases. These are the list of extra product databases for the sanitary heating discipline in the international version of DDS CAD. To activate one of them, you just double click it. So activate the gabarit that has product databases for pipes and objects. By clicking OK, it directly will be inserted in the product database. We see here gabarit inserted in the filter. So we have several subfilters with many products from the manufacturer Gabrit. But now the third tip, what if I would like to list all the products from Gabrit since they are separated by subfilters? Okay, I can simply insert Gabrit in the manufacturer filter and then I click on the flat mode checkbox. Now all the products from Gabrit manufacturer are listed. And now the fourth tip. What if I would like to record this gabarit in a manufacturer filter? I simply click on this checkbox in front of the filter. Okay, so now if I click OK, OK, and then I come back, it's recorded. And you simply have to click on the flat mode once more. Did you like these tips? What other type of tips you'd like to have? Put it on your comments below and I make a video for you. Cheers!